obstacle, so he is going to be second player. Now, Phillips uh, put great care and effort into painting up his ships. His Liberty, uh, his, his Mon Karen has uh, battle damage, so hopefully we can get a bit closer view. And uh, his MC-30 is painted up like uh, one of those World War II bombers with the, uh, the shark fin and teeth, with the shark eyes and teeth. Each of his YTs is unique and uh, has a different model. Nice, nice paint job. Imperials, nice, very boring gray, but eh, eh. It's hard to paint Imperials. The squadrons can be done nicely, but you only get so many shades of gray. About, I think about 49. Superior positions is the objective that is chosen. Uh, this objective is, comes out of Christian's list. Uh, so everything that Philip owns and loves is on the table, except for one ship which he has selected for his Radis drop. Most likely the Star Cruiser. Christian throwing itself. down some coinage from Home Depot. Uh, it's... Oddly shaped washers. Oh, these A are one good. and one eighth, is it? Custom yeah, order. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Get them while they're hot. Get them while they're hot. They're a little too light for my taste. Mm -hmm. But uh, some people swear by them. This is going to be interesting for Christian's fleet. I know I've seen it do well second place, or he's going second player, but um, that non Karen's scary. He is, and he is out activated, so he may have to drop an activation of fills early or get some sort of equalizer going to uh, not get first last by something in Phil's list. Yeah. If uh, Christian pulls out a win against uh, Philip. It will most likely carry him uh, into the top two. Otherwise, uh, if Philip gets a clean victory, um, a 9-2 or a 10-1, uh, he has a very solid chance of entering the top two. Uh, we have Christian dropping a bunch of washers down and positioning his squadrons nicely for the start of the game. The uh, SW7 Ion batteries, I've always been questioning on that uh what like it's damage but it could be leading shots it works because it's uh mon karen okay um and and he's ultimately hedging he's yeah actually it doesn't matter because kate kate and sholen gives the necessary reroll ability um for the red dice i can't read the list i don't play rebels so <laughs> let's pull up uh, yeah. Kaitkin and Sholin, because uh, it's always important to have some sort of dice reroll capability. Um, so as mentioned, leading shots is typically the go-to, but in this situation, Kaitkin and Sholin say, while attacking, you may exhaust this card to reroll any number of dice of one color. So it's your red dice reroll, and then because of the SW7, it doesn't matter what the SW7 shows, it's always going to be at one yep. hit. Wow, man. I don't read cards. I just push squadrons and run at people. Jeez. Anyway. I learned about that combo by getting hit by it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're fly, uh, underway. We've got our uh, Quantum Storm starting to peel off. So uh, Phil's probably going to spread out his sh ships as much pile to get a great... Oh, sorry. Not a great... A yeah, great coverage for Radis being able to drop in. Um, mm -hmm. Christian can uh, counterplay really is is try and minimize uh, counterplay here is really just to go forward. Yeah, minimize <laughs> where the uh, Star Cruiser can do the least amount of damage. There is no gunnery teams. It doesn't matter. It's 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 going for one thing at a time. That is fair. You know, one step at a time, and you're gonna get there. That's yeah. That's that a uh, life motto to live by. doesn't matter when you get there as long as you keep taking that one step. <laughs> um, any other interesting tech? The MC-30 is bringing H9 turbo lasers. Great for popping flotillas. Um, and Walix to get back those squadrons. I think... Uh, Lest we forget about the admonition in that list. So you've got an angry Mon Karen on, on top of that. you got a sneaky admonition, which is as scary as that Mon Karen. So there's two heavy hitters. Now, the victory is going to shrug it off with his ECMs. I mean, aside from the millions of black dice that are going to be thrown at it. 
but it can shrug it off. The gladiator probably don't want does not want to mix it up with. Actually, the gladiator and Archeans do not want to mix it up with the admonition. Christian's fleet is a victory one with Admiral Modi, Minister Tua, electronic countermeasures, ordnance experts, external racks, and then he has the combo of quad turbo laser cannons with Warlord. So while attacking a ship, you may change one die with a accuracy icon to a face with a hit icon in it. And quad turbo cannons is while attacking. If at least one red die shows a accuracy icon, add one die set to the accuracy icon to your dice pool. And there's a pleasant fellow by the name of Captain Jonas who enables the whole combo. So while attacking, while a friendly ship is attacking, a ship at range one of you, that ship may set one die to a face with an accuracy icon. So if uh, Jonas is at range one of a target and Warlord shoots at it, no matter what it is, the Warlord can put one die to an accuracy face, which triggers QBC, QTC, and then trigger Warlord off of that. So it's a very easy way to generate two accuracy or an accuracy and double hit. Yeah, it's surprisingly good at locking down MC30 tokens, just be due to the redundancy of them, mm -hmm. and SSDs as well, but you gotta be careful, You all of a sudden uh, you fly into that red range, and like, oh, there go all, there goes your evades, can't use them, you still can add munition, of course, but... And on top of that, uh, for seven points, Ordnance Experts and External Racks means that that VSD has teeth at close range. In addition... Christian has a Demolisher with a somewhat uh, standard Captain Brunson Ordnance Experts and Assault Proton Torpedoes. Um, it's notably missing the engine techs for a slightly cheaper chassis at 80 points. And rounding out his capital ships, he has an Architans with Centicore and then a combo of Captain Nita and Turbo Laser Reroute Circuits. Mm -hmm. Uh, his squad complement is Morna Key, Mahler Mithil, Captain Jonas, Sienna Ree, Colonel Jendon, and Marek Stell. So Marek Stell, Colonel Jendon, and Morna Key are commonly referred to as MMJ, and they make up the core of any hard-hitting Imperial bomber list. To provide them with a bit of support, there's Mahler and Sienna. And then Captain Jonas is kind of on his own, where he's not really functioning as a bomber in this list, but as an enabler for the remainder of his pieces, turning on accuracies for red dice for all of his ships. So a demolisher rolling up to you with uh, its front arc with two reds and two blacks uh, will still get an accuracy on top of whatever damage it does. So looking at the squadron layout uh yt 2400s always seem to generate really good value for how cheap they are so they and shara bay being just a monster at getting attacked and being obnoxious so i am i'm not sure that christian has a clear advantage in the squadron battle especially with torn far backing those uh yt's up he will probably win in the long run, but no doubt. he's trading. He's trading. A Philip fair is amount trading of time. Yeah, trading time, and he potentially trading up. Four Absolutely. blue dice with one reroll is no joke, as shown by uh, tie interceptors. So, but with six hull or six hull, five hull, six hull, six hull backing them up, speed four and rogue. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 still a threat. Now, what I would be doing if I were Phil would be trying to occupy any asteroid I can and position my own ships in such a way that nothing else can get a full um, obstructed position within. So just deny Christian the ability to hide one of his squadrons. But uh, as you can see, one of Christian's squadrons has already made it to the safety of the station. That's not that a squishy squadron. That's Merrick. That's Merrick? That's Merrick. He's red. So fantastic. <laughs> um, so as a result of being in the station, he'll be able to leave the station and bomb whatever he pleases. So a bit of squadron positioning going on between uh, Phil and Christian. I feel that Admonition is going to want to get into his spot here, moving speed four, and then do a Radis drop in this open area. Sure, there's a bunch of squadrons here, but the way these have been posturing, 
I will believe he's going to want to try and tie them up. If, uh, I know Phillip's in the way, but there is a transport that could move up here. I don't know if I'd want to drop in that area. And I definitely do not want to drop in that right there in the front arc. So I believe up here is probably the most open spot for Radis, because Radis can then proceed to fall, or sorry, the uh, Mon K can proceed to drive this way, or probably more so that way, and pick off these ships in the back. And at speed four, the MC-30 could potentially get there. I, I think both sides are very good drop points. I, I would lean towards dropping over here, Really? Away from the squadrons and then making his way in around because that, that Victory's a big space barge. It's a space oil tanker. It's mm -hmm. going in a straight line pretty slowly. Uh, it may veer a little bit, list slightly to the left, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but not much. So uh, Phil asking Christian. Morna has counter. Morna does have counter. And uh, Phil just eyeing where he can weasel his way in with a GR-75 or an admonition. So they're going in right now. Phillips is activating Quantum Storm with a good nav. Quantum Storm doing a bit of a fish hook around that uh, chunk of space granite, I have been told. Uh, full of rare space minerals. Mm -hmm. There's no mining ship in this game yet, is there? No. No, we need mining guild ties. But you may attempt to mine it with your hull. I don't think there is any economic benefit to it. Victor has pointed out that this is indeed close <laughs> to hour nine of uh, Jordan and I casting. Jordan is a geologist, uh, so his colors are showing a little bit. Eh. As uh, Dilbert said, it's just a lot of liquor and guessing. <laughs> That's a fast-moving Arkeaton. It looks very separated. You're, you're... Maybe it's uh, bait. It's Did a gazelle that strayed from the herd. The herd has split up. <laughs> the line. Uh, guys, come on. Help me with this yeah, analogy. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. It's it's a young gazelle they that's... Go the wounded gazelles, right? There is no the, wounded gazelle. body, too, so they're all healthy. Yeah, but they're all... Because that they're, means they're plump gazelles. Yeah, but they're all body the gazelles. So they're already <laughs> wounded for having body. bit of maneuvering from Bright Hope. Bright Hope is going yeah. to be shielded on its sides and front one damage at a time. So mm -hmm. even Merrick Stell or Morna with a Jendon double tap are going to have a very slow uphill battle putting damage onto Bright Hope. Absolutely. Bright Hope is best disposed of with a single massive attack with plenty of accuracies. Or butt shots. Yes. Merrick Steel butt shots. You know, oh, is he angling for some superior position, position value? Maybe. 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 How many more incorrect calls can we make today? Uh, Let's 12. bump it up. Let's say we do four every hour, so eight. Eight more. Eight more. So Christian's done a pretty good hedging move where he's kept his demo back a little bit. Um, this allows him to respond to any Radis drop. So... Uh, the plan here is you lose a ship with the Radis drop, but then you got to deal with the demo. And the demo plus the squadrons may may, may take out that hefty points uh, locked at, inside that Mon Karen. So, but we're, I'm just going to go back to the issue of there is no engine text on that Gladiator. And if the Radis drops in a spot, you are not getting out of that front arc. For one point less, he could have had Moff Jared Gerard who lets him turn a little bit better without a <laughs> engine tech on his demo. <laughs> this is just to contrast <laughs> what he's giving up to go with Modi. Oh, man. For four hull. Each of those hull is therefore worth six points. <laughs> that is less value than reinforced blast doors. Oh, man. Less value than even redundant shields. Can I, can I even pick a more inefficient card? Uh, you could even fit in a Director Isard into that <laughs> list for two extra points and still have more, more value uh, than a flat four hull boost. If he wins this game, tomorrow, man. Tomorrow, perhaps, the Money. casters will be kinder to Modi. 
No. But today, I shall not. Okay. So it looks like uh, ooh, going into a YT 2400. First shots being fired by Merrick Steele. And four. Three. That is three. Three damage. Good, good value. That YT 2400, uh, it's a little difficult to see, but it's actually a TARDIS from Doctor Who. It is uh, nicely painted. Huh. And uh, it's the Doctor. It's been, Which one? Uh, the, this one. No, no, no. Right which here. Doctor? Ooh, it's one of the earlier Doctors uh, by the construction. It's Tom Baker it's oh, it's the a Tom, Tom Baker. Baker. The so the, the very first. Uh, right. No. I'm going to say pick a number between 2 and uh, 8. I'm going to say 6. At this point, I will be watching my back for the next few days as a Whovian <laughs> may make an attempt on my life. A couple more shots coming in. Christian squad's moving in. Doing damage to the doctor. The doctor has taken a total of five damage. He is on one hull. He has taken one from Mauler Splash, one from the Mauler Attack, and three from Merrick. Fourth incarnation of the doctor. So I was correct. Yeah. It was the fourth incarnation of the doctor. So, uh, Sienna Ree flying in. Four dice. Snipes the Doctor. Once again, Phil was mentioning before this game to me that the Doctor has not actually done any damage <laughs> during this tournament. Oh, man. He whiffed every single attack versus an SSD previous round, and he's been whiffing his anti-squadron attacks. So it is consistent with the lore. I have to be very happy with that. Uh, well, next game. At this point, there's the, yeah, the doctor will sound, and he's game. faded into a different timeline, which he will reemerge from. Each each one of uh, Phil's YT twenty four hundreds has a unique uh, backstory and a unique model. As long as he has the same base, a legal FFG base, everything is okay. Uh, Reroll with torn far some anti squadron fire. Uh, those are. Two dice from somewhere into Mahler. Into Sharabe. Oh, Sharabe is shooting. Sharabe is shooting. Okay. Sharabe, who does more receiving damage than actually dealing damage. Phil may want to hide a YT-2400 in some rocks to extend its life and to get some pot shots at a unsuspecting Victory Star Destroyer. As predicted... The VSD moved forward at speed 2 and listed slightly to the right. Four dice Four into Mahler. Into Mahler. Is that an accuracy? Take two damage. Wow, two accuracy. Wow. By the power of math, that leaves Mahler at 1 HP. Ah, man, YT2400 is getting those value. YT2400 plus Torn Far, pretty good. He didn't even Torn Far that. Not even necessary. Didn't even need Torn. The cheapest upgrade for the highest value. Morna. Going to punch Bright Hope in the face. Three dice. Three blue dice. That's a lot of damage. Oh. No. Rerolling two of them with Morna's ability. So oh. spending Did a... Did he have uh, two? One. Is... One damage. So there's an accuracy and two hits, which means Bright Hope takes one damage. So an amazing roll from Morna turns into shield damage for Bright Hope. Mm -hmm. well, now, I don't know if they're putting all the tokens and damage cards on the table. Uh, there, there haven't been shots in the back, so... Oh, but as far as uh, damage cards? No, but uh, there's no superior sh uh, shots, but there's been no damage done to Bright Hope yet. Just uh, hold them. Just shield damage for the time being. It would be a great if uh, Bright Hope had an engineering command to recover that one shield. <laughs> that would be it. That would be rubbing salt in the wound. All of the YT 2400s are engaged, so all three of them. Now, Christian has jumped all his squadrons forward, leaving his back line open for a potential drop from Radis. Not necessarily. He's got Jonas over here. 
and he's got Jenden over here. So he has some backline defense to provide some pressure to the Mon Karen when it drops. In addition to Mon Karen, Admonition coming in. See how the board state develops. Review of the board state, a bit of uh, range checking. Uh, Jonas continuing up, um, moving to live into that uh, debris field. Christian debating whether to keep him back a little bit, to have an Incentacore range potentially. Mm -hmm. And I think he opted not to have it in Centicore range. Is he in range of the VSD for command? We'll find out. Jenden, where will he go? Shooting at Mahler. Got him, Morna. Got him. One damage, he's done. Mahler down. So we have one YT2400 down at the cost of Mahler. So Philip. Philip putting some pressure onto Christian by taking out Mahler. This will force Christian to pull more squadrons to keep the YT 2400s at bay. Mm. So, excellent, excellent outcome for Phil. I guess he's uh, moving in to engage uh, the heavy bombing threat from Morna and Merrick. This is the tur second turn, so these uh, YT 2400s refreshed. I think they were pushed by a uh, squadron command out of the Bright Hope. Christian expressing some sort of frustration and groaning noises. Yeah, looks like three dice into Sienna. Three dice into Sienna. There's Torn an accuracy. Fire reroll. One damage. One damage with that beautiful accuracy. Blocking the scatter. Counter two returning. Not engaged, so I don't think he has Swarm. One damage. Keep that pressure up to pull the squadrons back. Yeah. So just finishing up the squadron phase. YT-2400s, slightly undercosted. <laughs> but hey. Slightly. I'd say by about four points. Yeah. No. Yeah, two. Two. Two points. They're better than fire sprays. Look at that. So good. So, so simple. So clean. So beautiful. And, and way powerful. too efficient. <laughs> Way too efficient. So this is now turn three. Phil is pausing to consider Radis. Damn yeah, it. yeah, he drops it. Aha, ah. I called it. I knew I would be right. Nice, I'm five for 52. <laughs> Christian uh, just stated uh, an expletive. I didn't know you could stick it out so far. So this is... <laughs> That's You only get one of those for sure. <laughs> Not so this is this is a fork. This is this this could be anywhere at any time. P putting a rear arc threat on the VSD, putting a damage threat, potentially double arc on the arc tents, putting a uh, large damage threat depending on activation sequence on the on the gladiator. So Philip is right now in a world of his oysters, and uh, whatever he wants to do. Is available to him. Yeah, Cal, it's it's a the squid. So a world of world of squid. It's a world of squid. Yes, there's no there's no oysters on Man Calamari. Would, there's like would 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 a Mon Calamari passing like a bladder stone or a gallstone be a pearl? Like, uh, we, no. We need some answers on xenobiology. That's a level of uh, the Wikipedia I haven't dug into. So let's talk about that admonition. Do you think it's going to be a factor anymore? It's going speed four. I hope it has some navs dialed. Uh, yes. Mm, no. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Actually, okay. I don't know. Head, good hedging your bets. Okay. I, I uh, hope some navs are dialed, but... So we're pulling up the MC30 card. Ooh. Yeah. So speed three, it does get the two ticks at the end. Um... Wow, speed three is its best for being maneuverable. Wow, <laughs> speed four is garbage. It's speed three is what he needs to kind of hook around and get closer behind that uh, VSD. Yes. In fact, if he hooks hard for two turns in a row, he's going to be fully behind it and double arcing it. Yeah. So uh, Phil realizing that the demo demolisher is a demolisher <laughs> and will be delivering crits in short order if he does not dispose of it. Now the Radis ship cannot activate first. 
So it has to be something else. Who shall it be? I think I think it's a good drop. I think he's going to take a little bit of damage. Uh, but this is a, a delicious fork. Yeah. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter what Christian activates. That Mon Karen is getting something. Mm -hmm. And it's angry. So the demo is not in Brunson range yet. Or if he's ever. in close range, he won't be able to evade. And if he rolls, if Philip rolls an accuracy, he doesn't have to spend it with SW7. He can just block the brace. So a squadron command coming from our uh, Gazanti down here to uh, f start firing away. Not great, great shots. Sienna living on one hit point. Next activation. <clears throat> so one of the YT 2400s is taking the plunge and pinning down Christian's uh, forces. Got the accuracy. Christian, goes down. Uh, Philip found the accuracy and takes out uh, Sienna. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the <laughs> We're just glad the table microphone is muted. Yep. Um, there is certainly a lot of profanity. And it's not coming from Christian. Phil taking out two squadrons already. And now there's a Sharabe shooting at Warna. Torin Far coming into play. Torin Far showing why it's a broken upgrade with a accuracy and two damage. One from the counter. Yep. Yeah, he's going to take the damage there so he doesn't get punched in the face by Morna's counter. Uh, not counter attack, but primary following attack. Yeah. Morna rolls black dice, so a scatter negates whatever shows up. So I think I think Phil made the good call here not to use a scatter on the one counter damage. Black out the front. Um, who's that getting double arced? Morna. That's Morna Key. Yeah, Morna is here. That is Jendin. Ah, and there's a double arc right through the middle. <laughs> nice drawing. We're not even on the arc. Uh, I think he whiffed uh, both shots. Philip complaining about bad luck after getting a bout of good luck. Dice games are notoriously uh, prone to superstition. Um, turns out that over a long enough period, you will probably roll average. Unless you have loaded dice, like we see with Christian's uh, gold world's dice. Architons being activated. Yep. Navigate. First, he's going to shoot. So he's going to shoot. Rear to side. Liberty. This uh, is going to be shockingly painful. Wow. <laughs> Three damage. Three damage. Brace the two. And a redirect. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. I don't know if that's a wise decision, but it's a decision regardless. <laughs> And now the second shot. How many damage is that? Is that a accuracy? Yeah. Is that a second accuracy? Two accuracies, I think. Two accuracies and a single hit. Uh, there's an option for a TRC, but might not be the right time to do it. Why not? He's got it, two. He's got two. It does. It doesn't really do too much. I guess you could TRC one of the accuracies to. No, the result's always the same. Because it gets no, it just so. takes two damage. Yeah, oh, so he accuracies yeah. the the brace that he didn't spend. Well, it would be one damage normally. Now it's mm -hmm. two. So one all okay. damage. So uh, okay, that did make sense. Yeah. So where does he go? Where does that architons move? Oh, it was right a nav right command. Up. So what's the uh, play for Philip now? Would you uh, hold off on activating the Star Cruiser just so you don't accidentally double arc yourself floating into the Demolisher? Let the mm. Demolisher come at you. Because there's no way the Demolisher is getting out of your front arc. And by no way there's an 80% chance that he's not getting out of your front arc. Who? That decision depends on position of... Jendon, no. So, 
Centacore, if Centacore can activate Jendin, if Demolisher has a squadron command or token. So then jo Jonas can fly in. My apologies, it should be Jonas all around. And then Demolisher turns in and puts in an accuracy in addition to its normal attack into the Mon Karen. Does that make a difference though? Because if... if Conch fire revealed on the Mon Karen. Where is it going? It's not a bad roll. It's not what he needed, but it's what he got. You can kick in and show in. A blue is being added from Concentrate Fire. Another hit. It's not what he needed. He's fishing for an accuracy. Kate Kinnan Sholin. Is he going to scoop them all? Oh. All the blues. Hmm. All right. Oh, yeah. Kate Kinnan Sholin can reroll blues. <laughs> Maybe we should switch to table night because this is this is worth it. We need more British people playing Armada on streams because this is this is great. Uh, this is <laughs> it's it's actually being picked up on the X-Wing table mic. Uh, so if you want to hear what Philip is saying about his dice rolls. Tune in to VTTV's uh, 2019 <laughs> X-Wing stream. Is he taking four damage? <laughs> Victor is now proceeding to the X-Wing stream to <laughs> turn down the mic. <laughs> and I think Gold Squadron Podcast has their mic boomed over there <laughs> just in case. Oh. This is Norm Weir. Uh, I need to take a breather. That yep. was that was a bit much for me. Ah, uh, amazing. So, um, I have no idea how much hit points the Glad has. Oh, it took a structural, so it's down to two hull. Because of Marty. two hull left on the Gladiator. So the uh, redirecting shots here. Uh, so two hull left. Everybody is collectively losing their mind at bad decision making that's been going on, and and yeah, now I I'm not sure if uh, he could have he could have held off on activating, and yes, Jonas would have drifted in to deal damage, but now he's probably double arcing himself. I think uh, just just holding off a turn and letting the demo fly in. Because his demo doesn't look like, without engine text, does not look like he's going to get out of that front arc. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, getting late in decision making or, again, being an armchair armchair player, it's a lot easier to see that. It's very, very difficult shooting and difficult choices. We are entering the shenanigans phase where... The options for where the Liberty goes. Can we pull up the Liberty's uh, movement chart? Not great. It's good. It's okay. It's not great. Speed 2 is not great. Yikes. Uh, oh. Oh. That's considerably worse than I imagined. I, I imagine it would have one more tick, but <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> not good. Oh, Ram. Still Ram. probably in black, right? Sorry. Modi. Uh, Modi keeping a, a demo squadron command. Demo squadron. <laughs> Philip. <laughs> Philip's surprised. We've been talking about this all day. Yep. Demo as a pinch carrier. Here it is again. Sent a cord to Jonas. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh no. no. Oh no. <laughs> No uh, engine text on demo. Actually, no. it doesn't matter. He's he's got one hole. What am I talking about? Engine text don't matter if the liberty comes to you. And if you're well, <laughs> and Jonas gets a rear shot, why not? Why not? He's got a hit. Then he redirect. Isn't that shield free? Nah, but it's just damage on the rear. It's not hull damage. Yep. Uh, blank. blanked out. Now Phil does have uh, one victory token from shooting uh, a he rear never. arc. He never shot the rear. He shot the side. There, there. Didn't he shoot the side? How? There's no way he shot the rear. There may be check. a potential uh, VIP token that is unaccounted for. 
Gladiator at one hole, thanks to Modi. Gladiator on life support. Timing question. Um, Christian is asking Victor whether he can spend an engineering token now. Uh, however, because a squadron has moved, Christian cannot spend the engineering token. Yep. So it's out of sequence, unable to spend it. Front to front, on front to front from that gladiator into the Liberty. Is that a uh, hit crit nope. with Jonas? Yeah, never at... mind. Yeah, that's a hit crit on that oh. top base. We see the rigged dice coming into play. <laughs> a billion damage. What is that? Is that six damage? That looks like six damage. That is not fair. Uh, engineering value is halved on the uh, uh, Mon Karen. And three damage. So three damage taken to the front. So two uh, two shields left on the front, I believe. Mm -hmm. And seven hull. Side. Hit crit. Hit crit and a hit. Four damage. He blanked us. No crit effects on the Mon Karen. Mon Karen. So he, he still has shields. Mm -hmm. or sorry, all his shields are god, but he has not taken any hull damage other than APT. So he has he has taken a total of four hull damage oh, yeah, from that's rams. Right, from the rams. Eey. Oh, that's no good. So he's bleeding. Phil does have first player, so this could be the bait of a, of the century. This I think I think this could turn into a, a, a bait and switch scenario where the the liberty flies away at one or two hull, and admonition shows up, just delivers. Knockout punch to what? The VSD, I guess. Yeah, the that's VSD. a good question. <laughs> I, I don't know. I didn't yeah. didn't think of where it would go. Well, yeah, the uh, Liberty Hill. Like, uh, so there's two long range shots from the uh, um, from the VSD side and rear. I believe that'll be only three reds in total with a Jonas against the Warlord. Right. So it doesn't matter what range he's in because he's going to be delivering a guaranteed two damage plus whatever natural rolls he produces. Yep. And the accuracy uh, will lock down the unspent brace. And or the redirect, meaning it's going damage to the hull. Every time, damage to the hull. Christian admiring his work. Uh, no shields. I don't think this, this liberty is going to make it. Oh boy. Victory activate. Squadron command coming in. Uh, I'm not sure what's left. Merrick. Merrick's out. out of range. So is Jonas... Jonas, Sienna... No, Sienna's dead. Mm -hmm. uh, Jonas... Or sorry, Jonas. What was his name? Jenden. Jenden. Yes. Well, I, I, I misspoke. J Jonas is activated. He's taking Jenden the can dial as damage. a token. But he's a dial as a token? He, he just took the... The dial is a token on the victory. <laughs> oh, I really hope the table adjacent. Wow. wow. Uh, uh, Cr Christian is a graceful winner. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Warlord, four damage and an accuracy. Brace tossed. Taking two. One, One health. health left. Rear to front. Rear to front, two <laughs> dice at the back? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. No crit. <sighs> well, that's. So uh, that's one way to rat us drop. So again, I. I just think he needed to hold off and not activate. He did I, not. I, he jumped the shark. Jumped the shark. Uh, Philip has sat down to cool down a little. It's, it's rough losing that. I think Christian's dice were certainly rigged. Yeah, they were helpful. But uh, I'm not going to lie. I think they might be rigged. That's uh, my prediction. That, that 50, is, that 53rd is, prediction of the uh, day. Christian has... Rigged dice. That's uh It's way too many double hits in a row. <laughs> I I can't believe it. Statistically, it's probably impossible. 
That's um a lot of a lot of talk coming out of there. Anyway, <laughs> not sorry, not talk. Uh, slander. W- which one is libel in word or is slander in written word? Uh, libel is written slander. I'm being told. Okay. Okay. So unless I write this down and <laughs> bring it up with Christian, <laughs> I, I think Phil is feeling uh, a bit of demoralization from uh-huh. from that hit. Yep. Uh, and that MC30 can't can't turn for its life. Needs he needs to go to speed three. It's but speed three doesn't put him puts him kind of in the middle middle of no man's land in Bomber County. I suppose he can hunt down the demolisher. He's still no, he doesn't even out activate him anymore. This so. may be a redemption arc uh, for the admonition, recovering the glory of uh, Phil's list. The Mon Cal people. All right, some squadron action. Into Merrick. Brace take two damage on Merrick. YT's coming up big. Yep. Merrick attack. Three damage. Three damage. One hull on that YT. One hull is still good enough, though. One hull is a hull. Morna versus Sharabe. The reluctant participant. <laughs> Morna versus Sharabe. Oh, shoot, Shara. Sure. Feels sad. Three damage. Scatter. And then counter. Counter you know, three. Phil's measuring long range. <laughs> Two damage. <laughs> Two damage. So, Phil smashing range from the admonition to the demolisher. Going speed three, uh, sorry, going speed four is the long range range ruler. Mm-hmm. So he's going to have to turn and get some magic from from the angling to to reach that demolisher. For a ram. Yeah. For the ram. Another three. Scatter burnt on Shara. So this was the Jendin activation on Morna. And then the return fire. Oh, one. Bright Hope. Torrent Fire. Torrent Fire, Bright Hope. There you go. Another two damage. Two more damage. So that uh, GR-75 number, Bright Hope is in trouble as Jonas is nearby to knock him out or knock it out. I I think it will go down, but if uh, he can trade Shara for Morna. (laughs) Well, yeah, I forgot about that. Share is that more is that worth more than a GR seven? And then send Shara over to the station. I think that's a that's a good trade. And then um, potentially set up a block on Demos movement because Demos not going too fast. Um, and <clears throat> potentially, yeah. So potentially set up a block on Demo to allow the admonition to come from behind and, and ram squadrons. Squadron at uh, turn four. Not sure on the Shara attacking Morna. Kills Morna, one damage on Shara. Shara now free to move. Yeah, just Jendin is Jendin heavy. Is heavy. Oh, go lock down Jonas. Ooh. Ooh. Value. Ooh. Oh, that's not value. Ooh. That's the opposite of value. <laughs> oh, no. That's anti value. Okay. Well, All right. So Shara disengages. Points protection, not bad. No flak available. <sighs> Movement on Bright Hope. <clears throat> Bright Hope's still in very dangerous waters. Absolutely. Flying right towards Jonas. Jonas doesn't even have to move. <laughs> A tiny little morsel delivered to the, the mouth of that Architense. Actually, the mouth of that Gladiator. Those front two mandibles are actually uh, on either side of that little hanger, which functions as a mouth. Uh, if you get small googly eyes, you can put them on the bridge, and uh, it looks like a uh, some sort of weird Pac-Man creature. Uh, we, we I did experiment this with a couple years. I think we agreed the Quasar looks the most ridiculous with googly eyes. Yes, if you get two small googly eyes and put w- one on either end of that lower hanger, yeah. it looks like the Quasar is the happiest ship on the world. I I encourage anyone to do, do it. it. Yes, it's a it's a brings. Brings a bit of joy to your heart. Absolutely. So again, a relevant off topic, but googly eyes on the two tips of the uh, the demo. Anyway, we uh, sorry, we got some 
squadron I, shots. I don't think there is a single Armada ship that can't be enhanced with the clever application of googly eyes. What do you do the Super Star Destroyer? I would turn it into a Cthulhu monster. Yeah, right. Just eyeballs everywhere. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> anyway, we have Americ uh, activation towing a squadron and then shooting. <laughs> oh, killing two white teams. Christian, Christian getting confident uh, after rolling the dice, <laughs> saying four, he's dead. Um, Shara Bay is alive, but running away. Jones. Jonas moving in, trying to get some rear arc shots on Bright Hope. The most delicious part of Bright Hope. Hit crits with the gold world's dice. Scatter. There must be a scatter. There we go. Scatter burn. Scatter just used, not burn. Used. Side to side shot. Victory's activation. Um, who's shooting who? Uh, a a oh, yeah. back shot. Can I see uh, the victory again? I, I a back shot from the victory is two reds. Two Obstructed reds. becomes one red. Doesn't matter what he rolls. Jonas turns it into a accuracy, which has another accuracy, which becomes a double hit, which he has to... <laughs> so he, he accuracies the evade, forcing the burn of the scatter. He oh. takes the damage, so Christian will ga gain a vip from that. Christian, ever so gracious in victory, ever so salty in defeat. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah. I, 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 yeah, yeah, for sure. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Anyway. Side of the GR-75 being shot with the Architons. Lots Jonas of good is around. damage. Accuracy from the Jonas. So is that a hit in a crit? TRC. So okay. Quantum Storm, it will not die. Uh, Bright Hope. Bright Hope. Light support failure. No command. Discard. Tokens. Yep. A bit of confusion. Um, they're they're debating whether they're shooting a Quantum Storm or a Bright Hope. Bright Hope is right here. Uh, Quantum Storm is a bit further away. So I think uh, Bright Hope might be dropping here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, def the demo will probably be able to finish. It I, off. I think it, I think it should be dead, but um, is it on one hull? Uh, I believe so. It took uh, two damage there. Mm -hmm. I think it took one from a, a rear shot from. No, he burnt the scatter. He burnt, he burnt the scatter. The scatter. Yeah. Architens moving away. One hull left on Bright Hope. Mm -hmm. Confirmed from table. Disengaging. <clears throat> MC30 revealed. I think it's a navigate. Oh, the nav is just out of range. I think I think if he goes the other way. I think if he goes the other way, to disengage he can get the ram. So working your way up here and then in that way? I I think I think if he positions his maneuver tool going like this, he can potentially clip it from the back. Ooh, that seems... But that's that's a bit of a stretch. At this point in time, you probably just want to fly in, take a shot, and then ram it or shoot mm -hmm. it the next turn. So he's going to opt to uh, fly in, take some damage from demo, and uh, hopefully set up a kill the following turn. Philip uh, still effect feeling the effects of losing that uh, liberty from... Very good dice from Christian. Mm -hmm. Demolisher, close range. close range shot. Still into an admonition. Not spending the engineering token. Engineering value of two. Uh, he, so he, can he has a. Uh, he has a. He has half out value from a crit. Ah, so moving a shield from one arc to another, and then he will roll his. Four dice. Does he have arc to the back? That's uh, going to be a laser. So a uh, rear shot going into... It uh, looks like... It uh, looks like he's re-rolling all the dice. Oh, there we Oh, my God. Cancel that, he says. 
Ooh. Oh boy. The golden so world's dice. <laughs> so that looks like uh, five damage, and then there's a additional die underneath the magnifier tool. Oh, it's, that's, yeah, a, that's of course That's seven it damage, is. of course. <laughs> so redirect, and then tossing the redirect, so five damage. So disengage fire control is the crit, which means he can't shoot obstructed targets. Now he takes five damage. That's all those shields gone. And five shields gone. If only he had Mon Mothma. If only he had Mon Mothma. The Major Durlin. Throwback to game number one, where uh, we had a feature Mon Mothma match. Mon Mothma proving superior value to Admiral Modi by preventing countless damage. Literally countless, because countless. we were not counting. <laughs> Demo is flying away. Uh, a navigate was queued in, and he's looking to make his exit. Will he get away, though? I don't think so, mm. because if there's another navigate on the Admo, that final hull can be quickly removed. So he's just probably going to try and uh, get points off Bright Hope as best he can. Now, if he had engine tax... Actually, I, th I like where he's going with this one. This, this move... It's kind of like a half commit, where if you want the kill, you have to ram. But if you ram, then I'm going to get you with my Architons and my VSD. I like it. Very nice move. But he can shoot from the front to the side of the Bright Hope. Mm -hmm. And with the Jonas there, it, oh, there's no scatter. It's, it's pretty it's much dead, dead. But how dead? Natural, Natural accuracy. accuracy. Oh. <laughs> Two, which Two. becomes... That doesn't, doesn't kill it. <laughs> oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Bright Hope busted for two points. Very <laughs> good upgrade to put on a GR-75. Wow. Wow. Good value. <laughs> it's a really good upgrade. Even if, even if it's a comms, comms net flotilla, those two points, so much life. Yes. Oh. <laughs> YT 2400 lands a bum shot on the VSD and then he runs away Philip measuring distances no matter where he runs I he's saying that Merrick will catch him or he will be flacked down to death so he's considering the honorable approach which is to proceed to the station and keep healing until the end <laughs> of the game it's, it's a points hedge by Philip to not lose as badly as he could. And Philip, Philip is most likely going to land uh, a kill on the, the Gladiator. Um, unless some sort of fluke event happens. So it, it's going to be a close game. Mm -hmm. The Gladiator is 80 points. So he's going to need more than that if he would like, wants to come back. It's going to be very tough. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to come back, but it's it's points protection. It's a valid strategy. <laughs> Cutting into Christian's lead might pull Christian out of uh, potential running as well. So, if Philip gets uh, points exactly back from Christian, the the point spread is going to be tighter, which means Christian gets less points, which means that someone at a different table uh, who may have 20 points as well, if they get a 10-1, may overshoot Christian who's in second place to get to top table and uh that is what we call submarining it's happened uh in toronto every tournament yep. that we've been running oh it's so cutthroat the top table six fives and two other players just like oh i guess i'm playing in the finals now yeah tables three and four <laughs> kind of give a half-hearted shrug and uh proceed to the top cut. <laughs> uh good times I, I think I think every single tournament it's been a tradition since since we started. The MC30 uh, proceeded to whale explicit back. It's uh, I believe it was a redirect token that I yes. lost. And doesn't have shots. Rams. All right. Ram. Yep, and uh, they're mentioning that the uh, MC30 is running low on hit points. No uh, blast doors, and the MC30 potential. Or sorry, the MC30 could potentially take some hurt from 
that are Keaton unlikely, but there is a rear shot. Mm-hmm. So that is some points. I think I think Phillips got a bail with the uh, Bright Hope. Victory, reeling a squadron command. Merrick flies over to oh, uh, yeah, Merrick. admonition. Merrick and Jendon are still in the game. Oh, Best no. buddies, Merrick and Jendon. Two crits. Redirect. Oh, no. That's a rear shot, shot for superior positions. Jendon. Do it again, because that was great. Hit crit. Redirecting and then burning the redirect to take the crit off. And turn five, if Christian can and get that's another... And that's another uh, VIP. Yeah, Christian can rack up another turn of points, potentially. Yeah. Jonas, via relay. Over to the back. One of the golden black dice. Single hit. Oh, he moved Jonas, which is interesting. Tossing Just... another token. I feel it's interesting. Oh, wait, there's no scatter left on the... I keep forgetting the scatter is burned off the GR-75. Mm-hmm. Victory still got a shot. <laughs> Nope, looks like just out of range. Victory flying away, slowing down. No no long range shot at the back. Nav command on the Quantum Storm. And my apologies, Bright Hope. Uh, moving Jonas was to potentially get out of flak range. Mm-hmm. So swinging around. Protecting those points. Yep. Now the Architons. Uh, doesn't have much to do, so let's see. Navigating. Navigate on the Architens. So I'll uh, probably just swing around, try and shoot at the back. Now, two, two into the rear, two reds. Ooh, he's got an obstructed shot to the to the rear. Player's just determining range here. Now, if he hooks around with the Architens, he can leverage Centacor with the VSD to chase down the Admonition. Yeah, accuracy TIC, and then double hit with uh, Nita TRC. Great so, value. So Jonas is doing a lot of work in the past two games. Yeah. Three damage. So uh, a bit of a take back on the the Jonas accuracy, and then tossing away it, using an evade and tossing it to get rid of the damage. Still one damage though. And uh, still a token. So he's got a. He might even uh, consider, s- yeah, slowing down to two. Just so he has uh, the Centacore bubble for for Jonas. Uh, sorry, Merrick and uh, Jendon next round. Philip may consider. Oh, he's slowing down all the way to one with the nav Ooh. and a token. This is this is to really guarantee yeah. the the Centacore. A uh, VSD is out of range of uh, Joan or Jendon himself, so yes. But Every, everything's going to go through the Centicore. Quantum Storm, going on a tour of the galaxy, navigating. Excellent position for mm-hmm. Quantum Storm, out of <laughs> harm's way. Turn Last six. Turn. Planning phase. How many defense tokens left on that admonition? That is a great because question. Because <laughs> Merrick's gonna Merrick's gonna float up and deliver likely four damage. I believe he's sp- uh, down to three tokens. He spent an evade to admiral one of the shots, and he still has an evade and two redirects. But I don't think his shields are strong enough. He or- only has one token remaining. And- I lied. And uh, the MC-30 is on uh, two health. <laughs> Rear shots <laughs> for Philip on the VSD. Redirect from Christian. Yeah, so we just... So uh, one more VIP for Philip. We're not quite in turn six yet. We're just finishing up squadron phase of turn five. The uh, YT-2400 came back to uh, steal a token. So Shara, Shara debating whether it's better to run or to try and pin Jendon. Uh... Option barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't A-wing, seem legal. moves uh, speed five with a barrel roll executed. Wait a second. Mm, something's a little suspect here. Something. Ah, uh, that was the squadron phase. Yes. yes so now we're going. Into now we're in turn six proper. Philip is activating his admiral. 
Oh, I really hope an engineering command's coming down. You bet it's not. <laughs> oh, no. Increasing to speed four, and it's going to be hooking around to try and protect the rear. I don't think it's going to be no. quite enough. Merrick Steel is... Uh... Merrick Steel moves as fast as the range four ruler. So as long as somebody has a squadron command, somebody's going to catch up with that admonition and lay down the hurt. Victory. The question is, did he do squads? Yes, he did. Victory squad command. Centicore. From experience, Jendon will be able to get to where he needs to go. Mm -hmm. So first activation is relay with Merrick. Merrick should be at max range yeah. on the admonition in line with uh, Jendon. So Christian, Christian is a no stranger to this. Yep. Here it comes. There we go. Two dice. Hit crit. Spending. Take crit. one hull. Takes a, a VIP for Christian. And one damage to the. Jendon moves speed three. So the MC30 is on one health. Yep. It looks like I'll be going down. That is good. From ex Come on, Christian, other side. There you go. <laughs> and that's the Admo down. Another uh, rear shot. And uh, that's a tabling. And a tabling. That was uh, pretty rough. Wait, how does that math work? What? There we go. That's right, right? Um, uh, how, how is it uh, an odd number? Yeah, how is it 483? Yeah, because it caps out at 400 and then all the uh, VIP tokens. Regardless, congratulations to uh, Christian. That is a handy, w handed win um, against uh, Philip. Christian being uh, in second place likely is going to carry forward to the top two. It's because the software won't give me 400. It just gives me the full point value. So just... Oh, uh, okay. So, so uh, a, a bit of a confusion over the, the software. And um, the tournament software will take care of the slight discrepancy. So, just add seven to the score above. Right. So, add seven to the score above. So 490. 490 wow. for Christian. Wow, Christian. That's either takes a 9 a 2 or a, a 10 1. That, that protects Christian against uh, that cluster of uh, players that were at 20. Looks like, unless uh, something went terribly it's wrong a, it for. Is a uh, it's, it's a 10 1. Just doing some math here. It's more than 300, so it is a 10 1. So yeah. great job, Christian.